What's happening, everybody? So this was going to be a how to change out one of these uh, disconnect videos, but eh, it's just too much headache to hold the camera and do everything with one hand. So I'm just going to show you uh, my opinion on these stupid things and uh, uh, what I think is good and what I think is bad about some of these. So this is the typical standard 60 amp service AC disconnect you'll find at Home Depot, and actually they come in 30 amp too. The only difference is the fusing on the inside. So, this is usually on your wall, manner like this. You flip up this panel behind a black cover, which I've removed. Uh, there's two fuses. In order to do the disconnect or to disconnect the uh, the power from it, you got to pull this little thing out here. Which this is what I hate about these. Yeah, see, one-handed. You got to pull this out, and these. Bars basically are what connect the line to this. Uh, I personally don't like the stabbing kind like this. I think this is garbage as well as it's. Uh, I, I just don't like this. I don't like these. I mean, if the black cover's in place, when you pull this out, then you're not touching anything. But here's the fun part you gotta open this up to change your fuses, right? So look at this. The line's coming in right here on metal terminals. Real close next to the fuse terminals. Now these would be dead when you pull that out. This would be your line coming in, and then these would be your lines going out to your uh, AC unit or your condenser, whatever you want to call it outside. And the middle would be the grounding terminal, which, just for demonstration, I just hooked a couple of lot wires back up. And then you got to come in here and pull these out. Usually you'll get a pair of pliers and pull them out. I have never been a big fan of the stab and disconnect. This is what basically it means. You take this. You just have it in. So you gotta change the fuses out, put the little cover back, and then when you go to connect this, you gotta really line it up before you can shove it back in. See, like there, it didn't want to go in. And there, there it's in. So this, I think, is a pile of garbage. I think it's the worst piece of shit they ever made. So I'll show you what I did to uh, rectify that situation. All right, so this is what I did to rectify the situation. I put in a handle throw disconnect. I like these better. You can flip the handle down, shut them off. In fact, I'm going to open up and show you what's inside, so we're going to do that right now. Shuts the unit off. This won't open if the handle's on the on position, by the way. Look at what we got here. Two fuses, appropriate amps at 40, those are 60, and then our power comes in from the inside, the wires are a little short, so we've got these insulated cap splices. These are awesome little toys or tools for this for this job. Best thing I can think. I don't like wire nuts on big wire, so these splices are awesome. They're uh, greased and insulated very heavily. Got ground, got neutral, got an additional grounding bar. Wire whips coming in, but the cool thing with this is when it's off, unless you're on top of here, which you're not, you're down here pulling the fuses, there's no power. From here down, there's absolutely no power, nothing to touch. The cool thing is, you can disconnect by hammer throw, which is good if you're trying to service your unit and whatnot. Uh, Home Depot doesn't quite, at this point, carry a 60 amp. And this unit's rated for 31, minimum current of 31.6, which puts it just over 30. Add 25% to that, that's what your fuses are supposed to be. And that puts us somewhere around 40. This whole line is set up on a 50 amp breaker. So if they put 60 amp fuses in a box and you get a 50 amp breaker, which is gonna trip first? The breaker! Stupidity emotion there. So 60 amp service, this is all set for 60 amp service. And just like that. We're up and running. It takes a little time to change it out. Like I said, the wires are a little short, so I did have to lengthen them with the uh, insulated wheels. In fact, I think I got, I bought an extra one. So let me see here. These are what they look like. This one's in the package still. In fact, they're a little pricey. I think these are about almost 20 bucks a piece at Home Depot. Yeah, once you add tax, they're about 20 bucks a piece. Uh, good to have though when you're done with large wire. They do make wire nuts to do six gauge. And I'm trying to open this with one hand, so forgive me. Uh, hold on a sec. 
Okay, so yeah, these are what they are, and I don't know. You can see inside, but there's a set screw that you tighten from this side. There's a block in there to put your wire in. These will go all the way to two gauge wire. And then you crank that sucker down on there nice and tight, and there's the uh, dielectric grease or whatever in there to help insulate. And then once you're done, you take these little caps. Obviously, you're not going to cap where the wire went in. It comes with four, you only need two. You just put that little cap back on to the side where the Allen screw is to tighten it down. These things are awesome for large wires. Uh, I'll use them. I love them. Uh, if you want to go the extra, you can take electrical tape and wrap them up too. But basically, that's what I've done to upgrade this. It is a lot bigger panel. Um, but 16 amp service, this is what they've got. You can get this on Amazon for about $83. Uh, Home Depot can order it for you for about 70 bucks somewhere around there, but it'll take like two weeks to get. Amazon, you'll get it in two days. So anyway, that's just my opinion on service disconnects. It's just, I don't know, those stab ones have always seemed to be junk to me. Uh, I've always changed them out every time I've been in a house or moved into a house that had one that I've owned. Um, I just, for the life of me, can't stand them. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next fix.